couple of parasails out there guys, I'm going to zoom in for you a bit just to show you how many parasails are out there at the moment. Absolutely, heap of them. Nothing happens around here real early, Dolan, does it? No one, no one awake. It's uh, 9.30 in the morning and there's, there's just absolutely nobody around. It seems like the whole place runs at night and everyone sleeps during the day. We can't even find a money changer. We need to change some money, uh, get some Thai currency, Thai baht, and um, nothing's open, so, yeah. Not as nice as our beach, baby. Not as nice as our beach. There's a dead fish floating in the water. There. Oh, there it is, yeah. Yeah, yuck. So tomorrow we're actually off to Chiang Rai. Um, going up there with Tony to meet his wife and daughters and um, go up there and also look at the houses where the girls that have been rescued live. So that should be quite interesting. Uh, it'll be a, a lot more relaxing. We'll be able to do a lot more together. There won't be lots of long nights out. Um, we plan on doing a bit of elephant trekking and, and things like that. So it should be fun. Um, I think Katie and I are just about both over this, this particular area at the moment. Um, too much, too quick. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it can be very, very... Um, it can take you out pretty quick. So. Yeah. Off to Chiang Rai tomorrow, should be good. Oh, so we're going to put a subway for breakfast. Um, it's really quiet around here, not much happening, everyone's still asleep, obviously. Excited to be going to Chiang Mai tomorrow, Chiang Rai, I should say. Um, so we're going to have a half a sub each, honey, aren't we? Yeah. It's going to be yummy. Okay, I'm going to eat. sort of while we're here in Thailand she may decide after we're gone who knows but we are up to Chiang Rai tomorrow for the rest of our trip for five days and while we're up there we will be um, doing a similar work but in a different setting it's a lot more laid back uh, amongst a lot of local bars up there and brothels and so forth and hopefully get to do a bit of touristy stuff I know it's frustrating Katie that we can't do a lot of the touristy type things that we normally would when we're in Thailand because of the dedication we've got to this organisation. So, <sighs> I'm tired of I'm tired of sleeping night to sleeping days and being up all night. I mean, I'm a bit of a night owl anyway, but I'm a little bit tired of just. I mean, I'm usually up till maybe one o'clock or something like that most mornings, uh, but not four and five o'clock. Uh, last night was an early night. Which kind of gave me a bit of relief today. But, um, yeah, yeah. Sorry we haven't vlogged as much as um, well I thought we'd be able to. I have actually put together a video um, of all, a lot of these under undercover surveillance footage um, that I've caught on uh, a hidden camera. I don't know whether I'm going to actually put that up um, when we get home or before that. I'm just not sure. Um, what to do there, so I may put it up, I may not put it up till we get home, so 
<sighs> well, I think I've rattled on enough. I'll have a bit of a swim. But um, yeah, I think you guys will enjoy Chiang Rai. It's uh, right up in the Golden Triangle. So it should be cool. You guys go for a swim. There's an elephant spitting at you. Hey. I'm going to hop in this hot tub for a little bit. A bit of soothing on my back. emotional wreck I'll be honest with you. It's uh, definitely put a lot of pressure on me. I also put a phone call through the home yesterday um, to find out how things are going with the house with Gino. As usual he didn't take my call. So I sent Katie's mum up to actually have a look and our furniture has arrived. China and half of it was sitting in the container, half of it in the garage, and half, another quarter or another half of it, or I should say half, but a big bunch of it sitting on the driveway too, so <coughs> yeah, that's just what you want with $30,000 worth of furniture it's sitting out in the driveway. Oh boy, need to be two of me, one here, one at home. Oh well. Hey guys, I'm just coming back in the corridor of the hotel. Shh, gotta be quiet. It's 12 o'clock at night, flying up to Chiang Rai in the morning, so I have to be in bed early tonight. Okay, tonight was really cool because I got a chance to talk to um, Nung again. Unfortunately, by the time I got there, somebody had already bar fined her out, means that some customer had taken her away. Um, got the chance to talk to her afterwards. And um, she's going to be making that phone call to our guy up in Chiang Rai. Um, I'm very confident of that because I met her friend tonight as well. And they were both very keen, so I'll keep you guys updated. We're off to Chiang Rai in the morning, so goodbye Patea for now. Until the next trip. Um, as much as it's really distraught me, I am coming back. Um, can't sort of, when you see what's going on here, you just sort of want to try and help out as much as you can. So, all right, my room's here, so I've got to go. Katie just couldn't help herself. She had to come and have a go on the little rocking horse. It's the most fun I've had since I've been here. Yeah, I know, it's not a real nice <laughs> place for ladies here. Yay. But we're going up to the house, houses in Chiang Rai. Look at the little horsey. <laughs> I don't want to break it. <laughs> no, don't break it. We'll have to buy it. Um, so we're off to Chiang Rai today. And we just had breakfast and we're heading um, to the airport and on a big bird and up to Chiang Rai. So it should be good, the Golden Triangle. Darren and Katie, Alicia and Chloe, they live up there in Queensland, the Aussie family. Sugar, come and join them, that Aussie